Hello everyone and welcome to a video all of you have been waiting for. It's a video where I will reveal the meaning behind the word Agadmator. And uh, a lot of people ask me this when I started the YouTube channel, when I started, uh, I did I did a bit more streaming than I do now, but uh, even in videos people were, were like, uh, what, what, uh, what is Agadmator, what does it mean? Uh, how do you even pronounce it? Uh, is it uh, Agadmator? Is it, I don't know. Uh, I, I've heard so many different pronunciations that uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't even count. Uh, but it, uh, for those of you who are still wondering, it's actually pronounced Agadmator. And um, I'm now going to try to illustrate what it uh, means and how it came to be. So for this uh, video, I will be using uh, Windows Paint. Uh, I haven't used it for like 20 years. I think last time I used it was in maybe 1999. Uh, I could be wrong, but I, I don't think I've, uh, I've used it uh, all that uh, much yeah, in, in the past 20 years. But for the purposes of this video, uh, I think uh, it will do. So basically what uh, we will do is let's just... Uh, try and uh, and uh, uh, you know break it down so sorry that's not uh, that's not a brush this is a brush there we go all right let's uh, choose the big one all right so we have um, Agad Mator let's just put that on the board or in this case this uh, pad all right there's G A D not all that precise with the mouse but what are you gonna do and let's have there's there's an M A T O R all right, let's let's do it like this. T O R. All right. So there we have it. So uh, how do you uh, break it down? So here we're just going to use uh, three little uh, lines. So we're going to do it like this. We're going to separate the A from G A D, and we're going to separate the G A D from M A T O R. So basically, uh, the word Agadmator consists of this A G A D and M A T O R. So uh, to tell you a little bit more about this, we have to go back. I think uh, maybe some 20, 20 years ago, I think 20 years ago is right, uh, because uh, then uh, the, the term was coined then. I had this uh, uh, band with a colleague of mine, uh, we, we, were, uh, we were classmates basically, and uh, we had this band uh, called uh, Gadovi. It was sort of a rap band, we did some music, we did some rap. Uh, and in Croatian language, Gadovi uh, means bastards, but uh, we didn't um, use the word bastards in, in that sense. It, it, to us, it meant something else. It meant, uh, you know, sort of, in short, basically uh, respecting each other and the members of our group. Okay, for the moment, there were only two of us in the group. Uh, later on, another gentleman joined our group, Rudy. Uh, so it was uh, myself, Ivan, and Rudy, and we were, the, uh, we were Gadovi, you know, so... Uh, basically, it was a code of conduct or maybe even a, a way of uh, living. Um, uh, so we, we often used to say, uh, be, uh, you, you know, it's okay to be a bastard towards everyone else, but not towards each other. So it was, uh, you know, something that uh, was interesting to us when we were 13 years old. And we listened to a lot of Eminem. We, we really enjoyed rap. We, we tried to create... Um, uh, some uh, you know rap music ourselves, uh, which still exists, but you're going to have a very hard time uh, locating it on the internet. So basically, uh, when when the group was formed, uh, it was called Gadovi, meaning bastards. And in creation, a, a single form of Gadovi, the plural is God. So there you have it. Uh, the G A D uh, is actually a bastard in creation, but to us it meant something else. And then uh, when uh, Rudy joined us, there were three of us. And uh, as uh, if you take our names, A, I, and R, uh, you get uh, uh, the, the full extent of our, of our, <laughs> of our group. And it happened, uh, I, I remember we were called just Gadovi or, you know, bastards. Uh, but then one day we were playing uh, basketball on the school play playground, and I think me or someone else had uh, Nikes, like uh, the, the Air Nike that was uh, that was a brand in those days. I don't know if it still exists, uh, but it's A I R. Uh, and then uh, I remember one gentleman that uh, currently makes the best beer possible. He actually has a, a pub here in in my hometown. Uh, said that, uh, hey, look look at your shoes. It's like A I R, uh, and that's the name. That those are like the first names, uh, the the first letters of your names. So uh, A for Antonio, I for Ivan, and R for Rudy. Uh, and R for Rudy, and then we said, wow, that's really, really something. We, we could change our name of our group from Gadovi to Air Gadovi, but as we uh, wanted to sound very, you know, uh, profound, we, we did not call it Air Gadovi, but we called it Air Gadovi. 
and uh, the, basically what uh, uh, every every one of us in the group was uh, uh, referred to as God, the GAD. But then uh, when we added the uh, AIR uh, to the God of it, then I became Agad, uh, uh, even became Igad, and uh, Rudy became Regad. And then we operated under those uh, pseudonyms for quite some time, I think around maybe two years, uh, all the way up to elementary school uh, after it finished. And then uh, upon joining high school, I think, uh, I think I added the Mator in the end to my Agad, and then I became Agad Mator. And the Mator is sort of a Serbo-Croatian word for an old guy, old dude. Um, I, I, I often thought it uh, maybe, uh, maybe even uh, referred to maybe being wise, uh, an old wise guy. So uh, basically I combined the ideas and then I formed the, the term uh, Agad Matro. So basically it consists of A, G, A, D and M, A, T, O, R. Uh, there you have it. So GAD means bastard, but not in the sense of the word that uh, bastard means. Uh, it's something that was, uh, uh, unless you were a part of that group, you, uh, there is no way you could grasp the meaning uh, of the word. But uh, I, I hope I uh, illustrated it at least a bit on uh, what it means. The A is the first letter uh, of my name, Antonio. So uh, Agad, not Agad or Aged or something, Agad. And then uh, after I became uh, a bit older and wiser uh, in those days, that was 16 years old, I added the M-A-T-O-R. Uh, uh, meaning sort of the the old wise guy or just the old dude uh, and then the uh, the coin the the term was coined agad mator uh, so yeah, it's not uh, maybe as mysterious as you guys thought it would be, but uh, I thought as, uh, you know, uh, you, you guys always ask me, well, what, what does Agad Matur mean? You know, tell us what, uh, what does Agad Matur mean? And the first time you asked me this, I think my channel had like maybe 2,000 subscribers, and I jokingly said, and they, uh, someone even sent me a, a live stream of where I said it, that I will reveal the meaning of Agad Matur when the channel reaches 1 million subscribers. Uh, not, not really thinking that that would ever happen, but now that it did happen, I definitely owe you guys an explanation on the behind the meaning of Agad Mater. So there we have it. Uh, do share it with your friends at the bar at the library that you now know the true meaning of the word Agad Mater. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's uh, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, uh, thank you all for uh, for all the support, and it's really really. Uh, I I don't think I'm I'm just focusing now on making videos of, of the tournament that's currently happening in the world. Not really even processing that uh, I've reached this insane number of one million subscribers. Uh, but I will prepare some sort of a stream to you know celebrate it a little bit, as you should always celebrate you know uh, all the all the little things in life, uh, and. Um, it can be a big celebration because with the situation in the world and everything, you can't really do gatherings and everything. But maybe, uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll invite a, a person or two who are, you know, uh, properly scanned and maybe we can do a live stream, maybe have some fun. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I will keep you guys informed. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's uh, the that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now you know the true meaning of Agad Mator. Uh, and yeah, uh, we're continuing with, with the game. So uh, see you guys soon. Uh, ha have an excellent day.